<laughs> Hello, Arnold. Those are some beautiful large vegetables. Hey, stop eating in the store. Those vegetables are GMO, genetically modified organisms. This tomato contains a silkworm gene, and your normal everyday cucumber has a 40% similarity to a human from a genetic standpoint. But don't be afraid. GMO isn't scary, and I know just how to prove it to you. Let's genetically modify you, Arnold. Now, we're in the Pentagon's tippity-top yeah. secret laboratory. They mainly produce GMO soldiers. CRISPR-Cas9 is a new technology that allows the DNA of one organism to be implanted into the DNA of another. A regular fish was implanted with genes from a bioluminescent jellyfish. Now it's a glowfish. Vegetables are modified for longer storage and better taste. But what about you, Arnold? Do you want to be taller? We can use the Michael Jordan gene. and. We'll remove the sweating gene from you, so you stop stinking so much. And meet Arnold 2.0. A new life has begun. Without sweat, people will finally sit next to you on the bus, and your neighbor's grandma will stop calling you a short little redheaded virgin. Now she'll just call you a redheaded virgin. Yes, genetic engineering isn't perfect yet, but it is the future. Two hours later. What's going on? Arnold, did you steal all the syringes from the lab? What, you want to inject yourself with the strawberry gene to smell good? And a corgi gene for a perfect butt? Don't do this, Arnold. Stop! Oh, ye gods, what have we done? I was wrong. Genetic engineering is dangerous, not only for the organism, but for the whole city as well. So many more experiment ideas, but maybe we could transfer your consciousness to a flash drive. I wonder how many gigabytes we'll need. It's hard to believe, but Arnold's brain has a huge memory density. Its capacity is 2.5 million abstract gigabytes. For this, we'll need 2,500 hard drives with a volume of 1 terabyte each. Subscribe and hit like to learn more interesting facts. Poor guy. Don't worry, Arnie. Soon you're gonna be a cyborg. Half robot, half human. Then you won't be afraid of anything. Everyone else will be afraid of you. Hasta la vista, baby. A large part of the brain is occupied by various life processes. Even to fart, millions of neurons are needed. The volume of semantic memory, that is, information in symbols, knowledge about the world, is significantly less than the total volume. For instance, to learn all of English requires only 12 megabytes. Don't worry, Arnold. We managed to transfer all the data from your brain, though it really didn't turn out to be that much. Everything fit onto one flash drive. I even installed a couple of new features. Arnold, you can start living your usual life again. And now you don't have to worry about stomach pain from eating too much pizza. However, there are a few minor issues now, buddy. Toby doesn't recognize you. Lying on the bed is problematic, and you can't eat regular food. Regular food could cause a short circuit in your new cyber body. Well, you've repeated your mistake again. I guess it's good that we took care to make a few more prototypes. Arnold, you're alive! I'm so happy! But wait, what's that on your neck? No, you gotta be kidding me! You're actually the first person ever to get bitten by both a vampire and a werewolf at the same time. I'm already wondering just what the heck you're gonna look like. Well, you try to figure out how that's gonna work. I'll tell you an interesting fact. In 1999, 907 Americans took out insurance policies on themselves in case they suddenly turned into werewolves during a full moon. Arnold, looking like that, you'd be discovered a little too quickly. 
you need to choose a less obvious form. Moreover, back in medieval times, redheads were considered vampires. Ooh, Frankie has already added you to his friend list. That's sweet. He's also assembled from a bunch of random crap, just like you. Everyone knows about the ancient animosity that exists between vampires and werewolves, but I would have never guessed that I'd see such a thing in a single body. Oh, so you're getting hungry now. And you need food for two. Go, search for your victim. The perfect victim. Bon appetit, Arnie. Wait, Arnold, where are you? What did you expect? You can't go against the call of the wild. Just remember to clean up after your dog. Way to be a bloodsucker. With your moves, Arnold, you need to start thinking about going vegan. Ooh, I forgot to warn you. A double creature gets a double hunt. You need to put aside your differences, because you've got common enemies now. Prayer ain't gonna help you, buddy. And of course, garlic is deadly to you now, you moron. You're not the first victim of the hunt. In the 16th century, the French parliament passed a law to exterminate all shapeshifters. As a result, from 1520 to 1630, more than 30,000 people were killed in France who were thought to be werewolves. Lucky you, Arnold. The guys from Greenpeace are always on the lookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's that smell? You can't smell that? Ooh, that sucks. The chance of being attacked by a stinky skunk is about 10 times higher than winning the grand prize in the lottery. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. A dog's sense of smell is a hundred or even a thousand times better than a human's. And a doggy nose can smell a smell at a distance of one kilometer from its source. With a dog nose, you can even determine a person's physiological and emotional state. However, it's better not to fool around with cleaning products. The smells of vinegar, ammonia, and chlorine are especially unpleasant for a dog's nose. Whoopsie daisy, Arnold, I think you better run away. Pretty cool, yeah? Dogs are macrosomes, meaning they actually live in a world of smells. For them, their sense of smell is like vision for us. So it's not that bad to have a dog's sense of smell, is it, Arnie? One milliliter of water contains 3.35 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules. A dog's sense of smell can detect among all those molecules a single chosen molecule of a substance. So, with such a nose, you can always find the most delicious pizza. Or pretend to be a psychic and find people for money. Or even get a job as a king's bodyguard. But wait, instead, you're buying a lottery ticket again? Wait, listen, do you hear something? We don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero! Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally gonna be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool, this is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. 
Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for $3.5 million. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool, but still, the main job of a superhero is not to bask in glory, but to fight for good. Hey guys, the world is in danger. The world is doomed without you. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Wow, Arnold, congratulations! You died and went to heaven. Arnold, get in line and wait for St. Peter to let you in. Ooh, how cool is this? Hey, wow, look, is that John Lennon? No, wait, it's just Jesus. Here, there's even a wall of paintings of God made by great historical artists. Here, there's even... In ancient times, people believed that God was oh. terrifying and bloodthirsty. For example, Aztecs constantly sacrificed people to their god Huitzilopochtli to make it rain. The ancient Greek gods personified human qualities or natural phenomena. Unfortunately, Arnie, in the Christian paradise, unlike the Muslim one, you don't get 72 virgins. But hey, look, right there, it's John Lennon. Or is that Jesus again? And here he is. He has many names. The Creator, Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, God. Oh, shh. He's sleeping. You probably shouldn't mess with his stuff, Arnie. Arnold, what are you thinking? You can't go in there. This is the control center for the whole world. Don't touch anything, Arnold. Oh, this is not good. Over the past few centuries, religious belief in the world has been dropping. And God is the most popular being in the world has a lot of haters. You dare play God, Arnold. Man is simply too greedy for this role. There are lots of examples from history, and they all ended pretty badly. Arnold, stop! This ain't a joke, buddy. Great. Now everything's gone haywire. Fanatical faith has always led to wars. And now a nuclear crusade has begun. Arnold, stop before it's too late. Are you even listening to me? Phew, just in time. Hey, God, don't take this the wrong way, but... Arnold, have you actually started living a healthy lifestyle? Meet Arnold. Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're gonna have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why. Don't worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something else big. It seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just 
too much. So you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack.